The chef, Ashley Morrison. She wakes up at 2.45 every a.m. to bring you the latest on Today in Florida. Trending this morning. Be here. News is her passion. More unrest in Missouri. But her first love was tennis. I started playing tennis when I was um, probably seven, I think, seven years old. My dad was my coach for many years. I played all through high school. I just traveled all around the country playing tournaments. Lots of wins earned her a full tennis scholarship to North Carolina State University. It was a good time. It was a lot of fun. A lot of work. <laughs> These days, she works at keeping up with 10-year-old son, Jack. Ready? And her killer serve happens in the kitchen today with the dish we're making, turkey and cheddar quiche. The quiche is warm and yummy and it's like comfort food. You just take a bite of it and you feel better about anything. This recipe is from the Beulah Hill Christian Church Cookbook from North Carolina, an old favorite. And I wrote here, good, yummy. <laughs> good and yummy. Every Christmas they would put their recipes together the fine ladies of the Beulah Hill Christian Church. That's kind of special because it goes way back. I've done a lot of those recipes for many years. Start by adding eggs to a bowl. Uses four eggs. Then add milk. And then you want to whip this up. And pepper. And then throw in that good old Southern standby. So everyone has a can of cream of something. You can use anything. I'm going to use cream of onion today. Add the soup straight from the can and mix it up. It's kind of my arm workout for today. <laughs> now add chopped turkey and cheddar cheese. Just pour the whole thing in. Jack loves lots of cheese. Stir again and then pour it into a deep dish pie shell. People are going to be inviting you over for brunch all the time. Pop it into the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes until it's golden brown. Now it's time to head back to the cookbook for a quick dessert recipe. It's Jack's favorite, easy no-bake cookies. First, add butter to a pot, and when it melts, add sugar, cocoa, and milk, and bring this to a boil. My mom used to make these for me growing up, and they're really easy. You don't have to turn on the oven if you don't want to do that. When it boils, turn down the heat, then add vanilla, peanut butter, and oats. Blend well, and then drop spoonfuls onto wax paper. Pretty easy, huh? Let them cool for 15 minutes, and they're ready to eat. What do you think? Yeah, you're right. Now the quiche comes out of the oven, let this cool for a few minutes, and brunch is served. So here it is, our turkey and cheddar quiche and our no-bake cookies. We love them, and we hope you do too.